Yo, what is going on guys? It's Seabrev. Welcome to another MLB The Show 20 card review. In this one, I'm going to be going over 85 overall prospects. Drew Waters from the Atlanta Braves. You can obtain this card through prospect packs or from the marketplace. He's currently selling for around 6,000 stubs right around quick sell value. So this card on paper looked pretty nice to me. I thought his hitting stats might be a little low, uh, but the fielding and speed looked nice and this card did not disappoint at all. This was Probably one of my f most favorite cards to use uh, out of any of the prospects that I filled my lineup with to do these card reviews. So, switch hitter, great against righties, which is the type of pitching that you'll see most of the time. Uh, and his swing is amazing. It seemed very easy to generate perfect perfects with this card uh, compared to some other guys. I might have been lucky with my PCI placement, but it just seemed like... I was getting a lot more perfects with this card than some of the other guys in my lineup. Uh, his swing is very nice, like I said, he comes strong through the ball. Uh, pretty decent exit velocities aside from lefties at times, uh, which I'll get into later. But overall, not a lot of power, uh, but singles and doubles machine, on base machine, honestly, uh, and played great defense for me as well. He covered a lot of ground in center field for me. Uh, even though he only has 80 fielding, 78 reaction, and 80 speed, which is a little lower than some of the in-game center fielders you see out there, it just seems like he was covering a ton of ground for me. So overall, I think this card is a great budget beast. I think he's a really, really good card. Uh, one of my favorites to use, like I said, pretty close to a five-tool player, actually, except, except for the power. Um, and as far as the power goes, I do think he can hit bombs, and you'll see it in the clips, but he must be on the verge of some threshold uh, with his power ratings and his swing combination because he kind of has the Ty Cobb effect where it seems almost completely random what happens when you get perfect perfect. So sometimes you'll get a perfect perfect and it's an absolute moonshot. Uh, sometimes you'll get a perfect perfect with this card and it will be like a 92 mile an hour liner or a 92 mile an hour fly ball. So. Uh, I don't know, most of the time my perfect perfects were extra base hits or at least singles with this card, which is good. Um, and like I said, I did hit some dingers, but overall power is really what is missing from this card. But I don't want it to take away from the fact that this is one of the best budget beasts in the game, in my opinion. Uh, amazing leadoff hitter, amazing, amazing two-hole hitter, amazing eight-hole hitter. If you need any of those guys... Uh, on a budget this is your man and he's gonna play the defense to boot so let's take a look at the stats that I got with him keep in mind these are mostly all-star it's probably half all-star half Hall of Fame uh, 46 plate appearances seven doubles two home runs pretty nice I didn't try to steal even though 80 speed is probably good enough uh, he was setting the table for Kelnick who I really wanted to drive in some runs so I didn't really risk it most of the time but yeah 442 batting average is really good obviously uh, only a 1200 OPS which is pretty low for that batting average but um, it's mostly because he only hit a home run every like 20 at bats or so so it happens uh, you can see the splits are pretty drastic uh, hit almost 600 versus righties and almost and a little under 300 versus lefties that makes sense given his attributes uh, but definitely more drastic than you would typically see for someone who's a switch hitter. Like I said, it just seems like his power falls off the table against lefties uh, and becomes very random. But overall, love this card. I don't usually advise platooning switch hitters, so I wouldn't look at these splits and say that. Uh, just understand that if you face a lefty, you're going to need some other guys in your lineup to pick up the slack for this card. But man, I really liked this card. I'm sure you guys got that by now, but really surprised me I enjoyed using him a lot one of my favorites so as always we'll rate the card how he rates in the meta and we'll rate him compared to how much he costs how he rates in the meta I'll actually give him a B uh, maybe even a B plus I think he's up there with some of the uh, B tier outfielders in the game right now and for the price I'll give him an A because this is a quick sell value diamond that I think could be an incredible leadoff hitter or eight hole hitter or two hole hitter like I said for a lot of you guys out there that are on a budget. So pick him up while he's cheap. Uh, he'll probably stay cheap for a while. Uh, even coming off the bench as a defensive replacement or a pinch hitter against righties could be really, really good for you. So take all that into consideration. I hope you guys enjoyed this card review. Let me know down in the comments section below if you want me to review anyone specifically. 
Uh, enjoy the clips after this, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. This guy loves to drop the head on those pitches down and in. I'm shocked he went in there. Now a curveball left up in the zone as this is hit pretty well out to deep center field with one gone. Here's the first pitch to him. Lined hard toward right center. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. Now the relay home, and he's safe. Certainly not afraid to attack the strike zone. Base hit into the left center field gap. And this will find the wall out near the visitor's bullpen. And he'll start things out here against Corey Kluber. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He's through first and hustling for second. And he's going to get to second at the plate now. Drew Walkers. Adi jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Junior looks up. Gone into Monument Park.